Hey, what's up? We're going to create this junkyard together. I will show you exactly what to do. When creating a new project, select Film, then Blank. Now right away, create a new level and select Basic. The reason I created a new level is simply because this one is super well organized and contains everything I need to start building. Delete Player Start and delete the ground. We don't need those. We didn't save this new level yet. Let's do that right now. Control plus S. Just pick a name for your level, then save. Click Selection Mode, then Landscape. Now this is way too big. Let's make it much smaller. 2 times 2 looks good. So just hit Create. Click on Landscape Mode, then go back to Selection Mode. To remove this error message, press Play, then Escape. Now open Bridge, and let's find a rocky texture for the ground. Click Surface, and then Debris. Let's see what we got in construction. Oh, one of these could certainly work. We're not really doing a construction site, but a ground full of debris just makes sense here. Alright, I'm picking this one and setting it to high quality. Click Download, and once it is downloaded, click Add. You don't need this window that just popped up. Close that. Back to the scene. Click on the ground to select it. Find Landscape Material, then apply your material. Mine was named Construction Ruble, so there it is. Open the Marketplace in the Epic Games Launcher. Search for Twin Motion Post. There you have some packs of Pose characters. You can't animate those, but for a still render, they're awesome. I just added the Winter Pack to my project. Now do Control plus Space to open the Content Drawer, and there we have the folder that contains the Pose characters. We got a character in each folder, so take a look at what you got. The quickest way is with the folders on the left. Same folders, just different organization. So quickly browse through them and find something you like. The reason I import a character before even starting the environment is because I use it as a size reference. Don't forget you can always change the camera speed here. Time to add a camera, plus cinematic, cine camera actor. Seems it appeared under the ground. Way better. Okay, now let's get in the camera view. Perspective, then select the camera. The ground texture repeats itself too much. Let's fix that. Click on the ground to select it. Find landscape material again, then double click on the material. Check tiling, then open that little menu. Also, just so you know, this window may pop up full screen for you, but just know that your scene is still open behind it. That's just another window. Anyway, let's continue with the tiling. Change the number for X and Y, and make sure you use the same number for both, else your texture could look weird. Basically, lower numbers mean you're zooming in on the texture, so it repeats itself less. I'm using point 8. Save, and close the window. Get out of the camera by clicking on this eject button. A simple way to see if the texture tiling is correct is to get close to the character and look near the shoes. Does the texture size look good to you? I think it will do. What is he even looking at? Nothing? Well, that sure is very interesting. Click perspective and get back in the camera view. Open bridge again. Delete the search if needed, then find this junkyard volume one pack. If you don't have it on the homepage, it's okay. Just search for it, then wait a few seconds, then you should see it there. Hold click on the bridge tab and drag it somewhere to the right. You can simply drag and drop the items you want in the scene. You can see it automatically download it when you do that. Now, I'm just adding all of the junk items in my scene. You don't have to do it like that, you could just add what you need one piece at a time. But personally, I like that workflow. Alright, now you can put it back full screen if you want, and search for Neo. It's this one, Volume 2. We'll take this modular building base kit. Once it is downloaded, don't forget to export it, so you can access it in your scene. Also take this one. Okay, you can put it back at its place. Now it's just another tab, perfect. Get out of the camera by clicking on this, well if you were still in the camera. Let's take a quick look at what we got here. Okay, that's great. Now, 
do control spacebar to open the content drawer. Go back to the content folder, and everything you download from Bridge gets in this Megascans folder. Surfaces are just the materials, like the one we apply to the ground. What we want is 3D assets. All the items we dragged in the scene, well, they're also in these folders. What was it called again? Modular building. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, there it is. Let's drag those in the scene. Okay, I'll put those to the side for now. Now, the second modular building pack we downloaded earlier. Looking pretty good. Select the camera in the outliner, then pin it by clicking on this. That way, you can select and move any objects you want and still see the camera view. I'm now using the two modular building packs we downloaded to build the wall, moving and duplicating the assets to get what I need. That's it for the wall. Next up, open the marketplace in the Epic Games Launcher, then search for Mega Scans Tray. I'm picking this one because I know it contains trees that will work perfectly with my project. So, just click Add to Project, then go back to Unreal. Control Spacebar, back to Content Folder, then Black Alder, which is the folder that contains the trees. Foliage is for if you want to paint the trees like we paint grass, but that's not what we need right now. Open Geometry. Then Simple Wind, and there we have a lot of super realistic trees. Drag and drop two trees of your choice in the scene. If it takes a while to load, that's totally normal. Select the camera and pin it, so we can place the tree where we want. Placing it really close to the camera could look really good. Plus, shapes, sphere. Of course it had to appear under the ground. Put the sphere half in the ground, duplicate it, and make the other sphere smaller, right next to it. We will delete the spheres later. I put them here so that I can build up my pile of junk in a more realistic way. All of the 3D assets we imported at the beginning, we can finally use them. Remember, it's okay to duplicate some of the assets here, especially the tires. And about those tires, you can make a pile of them somewhere. Now just keep building and make sure your junk are holding here in a realistic way. Looking good, now I'm deleting the sphere and duplicating the junk pile to have one closer to the camera too. Of course I have to change some stuff so this new pile stays realistic too. Let's get back in the camera view, perspective, then select it. 
You just watched this in 45 seconds, but it took me well over 45 minutes. Now hold Control L and move your cursor around to move the sun. Select Exponential Height Fog and turn up the fog density. Not too high, but like something that looks good. Anyway, before finding the perfect value, you should turn on Volumetric Fog. It makes a big difference, so now you can find a good fog density. Try some values while trying some sun positions. Select Directional Light and change the intensity. This is in some way the strength of the sun. I made it a little lower, at 4. Now select Skylight. Making its intensity scale higher will make the shadows less dark. See, big difference around this tire. Let's find something good. Keeping it at 1 is just too low. 2 looks good. Back in the directional light. I'm changing the light color a little. Something a little more green looks awesome. That intensity could be 5. Now let's make a cool ground. Open bridge. And let's find some rocks. Granite will do. Just like we did earlier in this tutorial, drag the bridge tab where you want. Um, I guess it's loading. Now get out of the camera. Now you can drag and drop your rocks in the scene, but first let's just pin the camera view. Also, I place the bridge tab where I want. Now just one last step before finishing this render. Open bridge. Search for barrel. This one will work. Download then add. Or just drag it in the scene. Bridge tab can go back there. Place that barrel where you want. Back in the marketplace, this time search for M5 VFX. And add it to your project. We now have a new folder with the fire assets. Particles and fire. All the fire assets are here. Just like any other assets we used in this video, you can simply drag and drop the fire in the scene. Try some of them and see what works in your scene. You can also change the barrel size if needed. This one seems to work for me. Select the camera and let's change the focus settings. There we have focus distance. Click on the picker and select the character. What it does might not be obvious if you're watching this on a small screen, but try putting the aperture lower and you will see that the closer objects are blurrier while the character is perfectly clear, because he's the focus distance. This was starting with Unreal, see you soon.